So I bought a couple of uh, Adidas Adisair or Javelin. So Javelin shoes. It uh, should be 11 spikes under each of it. So this is the first time I put it on the feet. So I have no clue how they will work. I can say that they are quite tight for usually I have uh, larger shoes but um, you should not um, you should not buy too large shoes when you throw javelin that's what I heard because they tend to be bigger after a while so they are tight but it's not painfully tight I will manage it so I shall th I think I shall try them out uh, in a couple of days on the throwing field so I will just take it easy because I will not throw 100% with 100% force but I will throw anyway so let's see then I will continue to tell more about them so okay so now I did uh, attached uh, spikes so it's uh, four in the back and seven in the front. And there is a, a tool for, for the spikes. So it did not come with any extra spikes so that you have to buy for yourself. I think it would have been convenient if they just brought some extra spike with them just in case you need to replace it there you have the Adisero mark so as I said I will try it out in a couple of days and then I will come back So, this is the Javelin shoes, I'm trying out them for the first time, they feel feels very good right now, let's see what's happened, if I can use them, if I have any, any benefits from them, or not. I can only say that uh, it feels great with uh, these shoes, I get a good grip and I don't feel any comf uncomfortable when I run with them. So I look forward to throw with them, but I will not throw far away from 100% throw today. I will not take too much power because I have to save my arm. My first conclusion is that I don't have to hesitate when I throw away the, the javelin. I can I, I don't have to be worried that I will slippery or something with it when I throw it away. So I have 100% grip uh, on my left foot to to block my my throw, and that that's that feels so great. So I. When you don't worry to sleep, you don't have to be worried to hurt yourself in that aspect anyway.
It feels like it's a word of difference to throw with the spikes and without throw spikes. Everything changed. Store the score betwe between the throwing sessions so they are not. Uh, I put them on this kind of of plastic rag, so like that, and then I put them together like that. So I have it together like that, so I don't damage the surface of the shoes with the spikes. And then I pack it in a in a bag, and I, I make sure it's tight. Uh, stay there like this during the transport. Okay. So this is the shoes after I have been cleaning them after the first session. Uh, I so they are fine. All the spikes are uh, attached correctly. No one have losing it up. Uh, there are some kind of Textile here under the it's very hard to see on the on the in the camera, but uh, It's not plastic here. So so that will be that dirt will be attached there and it will not go away So I have to live with that. I don't know why they put some textile there. It's like a cloth So otherwise they just look fine They are easy to clean Besides here in the back, there are some textile also that will be dirty after a while. But in the other places, they are easy to clean. I didn't say that before, but they are they are very rigid, so you cannot easy bend them, which is good. They should be very stable. So they are very stable, and I am often the first session, as I said before. Uh, it's a big difference if you don't have spikes and with spikes. So okay, uh, I I will I will say that uh, I'm happy with the buy. It's cost one thousand four hundred Swedish crowns. It's about US dollar one hundred and forty, approximately. So, but I guess they they will last some seasons. This. Uh, should, should last about it depends of course how how, you, how much you throw but um, for me I, I I count on at least three three seasons with these shoes anyway I did need I need it and uh, they are not cheap anyway any brand you buy so this was fine I'm, I'm happy with the buy anyway.